Yo, how's everybody doing? It's the Hawking Regime here, and today I'm coming at you guys with a Talk of the Hawk video here on the Hawking Regime channel, coming at you guys with a pre-game analysis in the preseason of the 2016-2017 NFL season. The Seattle Seahawks will be going up against the Minnesota Vikings in Week 2 of the 2016-2017 preseason of the NFL, and pretty much in these pre-game analysis videos, what I like to do is just kind of go over the injuries as a whole and the expectations for the game, which is in Seattle against Minnesota again. Um, so going over the injuries, uh, you know, Jimmy Graham, if you've kept up with any Seattle news recently, he has had trouble coming back and people are not even certain that he will be back for the first week of the NFL. People I think are, I mean, obviously you wanted to see Jimmy Graham on the field. You want to see him getting touches. You want to see him gaining that a little bit of chemistry, the little bit of chemistry that you can gain in preseason with starters. However, you know, you always want him to be healthy, which is the number one priority. And I think that Seattle is in good hands having a Luke Wilson to back him up who has played with Seattle as a starting tight end for them in a whole season so I think that we are in good hands in that aspect uh, of our offensive game obviously I really want to see Jimmy Graham go out there and play though but here are some of the injury updates Thomas Rawls won't play for sure um, yeah he said he looked good and was ready to see but will not play against Minnesota and offensive lineman Jamarcus Webb just like last weekend against Kansas City he will not be playing tonight uh, against Minnesota and then you have Bradley Soul or, or Sal, however you pronounce his last name at left tackle same starting lineup on the offensive line as last weekend as well Glowinski, Britt, Effetti, and Gilliam so you know that I thought they did play well against the Kansas City Chiefs the time that they had out there um, I thought they did play well I didn't, I didn't Russell never got sacked so I was nice to see uh, for a change uh, in the regular season last year in the beginning of the year especially it was ugly so hopefully the regular season uh, is not the same as last year's start CJ Procise will not play, but Zach Brooks actually will play uh, from Clemson. He didn't, you know, he, he was injured uh, a week back, as you see right here. Uh, so it says, you know, Kasim Williams, Morgan, Brooks, Collins, they'll all play. And even Tony McDaniel, apparently Pete Carroll said that he will play as well with Seattle this upcoming game today. Uh, Cam Chancellor will not be playing, and neither will Jordan Hill. Both guys that will probably get, you know, they'll get minutes this season for sure, obviously, in the regular season. Jordan Hill, um, a guy that has really had, you know, injury troubles over the past couple of years, although he's still pretty young at 25, roughly. I think he's 25 right now, and he says he had a groin injury, and they actually apparently say that right here he's really close to return, but not quite, and will most likely make his debut at the preseason next weekend. Um, but again, we'll see some more time out of different running backs this week with Zach Brooks coming back, which is cool to see. Uh, Rawls will not be playing, but Chris and Michael will get the uh, the start for Seattle at the running back position. And Tony McDaniel, who recent signee for Seattle, um, was a free agent, I believe, from Tampa Bay. He was there for like a year or maybe even two. And now Seattle gets him back when he was on the when he's on their team. No, it's only been a year uh, when he was on their team for their previous two Super Bowl runs. So that was pretty nice to see him come back. And we'll see some minutes that he'll get today against Minnesota as well. Here are some things that uh, they have on Seahawks website that they talk about. Um, you know, the offensive line kind of discussed that as well. The defensive line, the defensive line creating more pressure was actually a point I brought up in the post game analysis video of the Seahawks win over Kansas City week one of the preseason because I thought there was a bit of a lack of pressure. I'm not even certain that we actually sacked any of the Kansas City quarterbacks, which you know you could take that as you know a bad sign, a good sign, whatever. It doesn't really mean much in the preseason because you don't have your starting players out there. But you would like to see some more guys get some more pressure on the quarterback. So uh, only three quarterback hits last weekend. And Cassius Marsh, hopefully we can see something from him. Because he is playing, actually, he played a little bit of the Sam position, the uh, strong side uh, linebacker for Seattle. And Mike Morgan will get the start there today. Don't be surprised if you see Pinkins there as well, Eric Pinkins and Cassius Marsh move over that strong side linebacker position as the game progresses and as we move into the second half, more specifically. Uh, I don't know if Michael Bennett will play today, actually. I'm not certain about that. I don't know if they actually ever stated that outright, that Michael Bennett will actually play today to start things off. And then again, the young roster hopefuls. You have Tanner McAvoy and Tyvis Powell playing really well last weekend. Powell had the interception as well. as a very good special teams play. And... Um, the competition continues it's as simple as that, uh, especially on the defensive side of the ball. You can always think about that because the offensive side, you have the established receivers. Maybe there's one or two guys that can get a spot on the roster. But defensively, there are some spots where, you know, who knows? Cornerback position in particular is an interesting one. You have guys like Therold Simon, who, you know, people thought would probably pan out to be a better player and really has kind of struggled through injury and 
uh, being outmatched by position, specifically in the uh, Super Bowl that Seattle last played in. Um, but should be a good game against Minnesota. Every single week that Seattle plays a preseason game and every single week that any team really plays a game, as long as their coaching staff is um, you know, respected and is pretty good, you pretty much get a very good basis of what players you want on your team come the regular season of the NFL. So looking forward to this game at home in Seattle against the Minnesota Vikings. That will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoy. You know, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Seattle Seahawks content. Talk with the Hawk videos in particular. I will definitely be coming out with the post-game analysis today of Minnesota and the following two weeks of the NFL's preseason as we head into the regular season at long last, pretty much less than a month away. And uh, I can't wait for it. I'm sure every Seattle Seahawks fan feels the same. Once again, that will be the conclusion of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And yep, thanks for watching.